is going on everybody? It is September 30th, the last day of September. We're up here. We're up here in the, uh, some range of mountains in Colorado. Just kidding. We're up here in a, we're uh, meeting up with Lane Walter tomorrow. He's got a goat tag. Goat season starts tomorrow for him. Came up, we're gonna camp out here at uh, some lake that's not even named on the map. Um, several miles in here. Um, we're gonna look for goats. And, yeah. <clears throat> High altitude's not for me anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm tired of wearing a backpack. Looking forward to white tail hunting. We're looking forward to lodges. Cake, it's cakes and pies. Roderick, if you're watching this, bring that pie. <laughs> what was that pie called? Chocolate. Mud pie, mud pie explosion? Or yeah, mud pie chocolate explosion. Anyway, we're going to set up camp by this lake here in a few. We're pretty close. And then we're going to do some glassing. We will have much more video to come. Just got a camp set up here. Um, I am staying here in the Hilbert Solo <clears throat> one-person shelter. I uh, decided to take a Western Mountaineering bag. Um, we'll be in here for probably three days or so. Got my food and all my extra gear at the bottom there. Some extra gear up the top there. Aaron's running the, I believe that's the Onion 2. We found a super cool spot to camp here. Nice and flat. And then we got water running down over there. Probably can't see it, but we spotted, <clears throat> I think we spotted 12 or 13 goats on the way in. And uh, one of those was a nice billy. know much about goats but Aaron said it was a good one so um, Lane is going to uh, should have a pretty good hunt so he's meeting us in the morning here before the Sun comes up he's hiking in first thing so we'll see how it goes uh, should be pretty good I'm gonna get some water here and get the bag situated to do some glass and there's a couple of well, glass and points we're gonna check out tonight so hopefully we find some some good goats some options for him I think it's rifle season now, but he's gonna try with his bow and bring the rifle as well, so it should be a good hunt and we'll try to keep it keep it all documented on film, so. Okay, video update is uh, September 30th, just before dark here, starting to get dark. We hiked up to the top of this mountain here to glass and we actually just above camp. Oh no, probably won't be able to see it, but there's a goat right there and it's uh it's not bad it's a billy <clears throat> so maybe lane uh might want to shoot it maybe not um we didn't see a whole lot on the back side there's kind of a basin back there we saw a few nannies but figured you'd see a bunch more goats but we didn't see very many they seem to be concentrated over here on this side of the of the upper basin i guess aaron's over here taking photos So we are going to eat some dinner, probably make a fire maybe. It's starting to get cold, the sun's going down, so <clears throat> it'll probably be a cold morning and a cold night. 
All right, so we are cooking dinner right now. We're getting ready to cook dinner. We're heating up water. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so Aaron's running an ultralight setup here. What do you got? This is a ever new, I think they call it a uh, pasta pot. It's got a, for the steam to come out but it locks in on top super well. And then this is a Soto Windmaster. The reason I'm using this is I get a mold and fat and uh, it's lighter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a Soto Windmaster, ever new pasta pot. Just that regular MSR fuel. I got the reactor here, old trusty. She's a bit aged, pretty old. Um, both great setup. I'm gonna have some pasta tonight. We boiled Amy and I boiled that and it was a minute and 27 seconds for 12 ounces and this was a minute 56 or two min a minute 56 or 206 I can't remember that is about the most efficient stove I've ever seen that reactor but this with everything canister stove uh, pot and spoon weighs less than that reactor which is Hence me getting fat and old. <laughs> Hello, the story. Do not skip snake day. Yeah. <clears throat> Just kidding. Aaron freaking went ham up this mountain earlier, so. No, I did not. He went super ham. I was like, are you half man, half goat? Anyway, that goat's just laying up there. What's the name of the Dodoro? This is like uh, spaghetti-ish. Yeah. What's the other one you got there? Same thing? Tacos and burritos. I got some humble foods. Also, they're in there if you want to grab you want one. Right? Yeah. You like the pot beef? I hate spaghetti. <laughs> okay. I'll grab it. Where's that? It's in that bag. We're swapping food. I probably brought about three or four days worth of food. I think we're. We got a solid three or four days in here, so we'll see what, how long it lasts. I could what be I'm eating a lot. Lane shoots it tomorrow, and then we get really good photos and film. And the only negative side to that is we have to carry all the food, out, and that's okay. And then we'll go to Whole Foods and get pizza. Yes, that's a, that's a definite. <laughs> all right. So. Well, the hike in was good. We uh, went in at day before season started and Lane's hiking in tomorrow and uh, I spotted a ton of goats but um, three billies but two of them are good and one happens to be right above camp so that's good I'm just gonna go through my gear here get dinner ready and uh, probably lay here and listen to an audio book because um, it's early and it's cold as shit and uh, Probably not going to get up bright and early and walk around either because it'll be freezing cold, so I'll be listening to an audio book in the morning too. Alright, uh, I just messaged Lane on the inReach. He's on his way driving up to the trailhead and uh, had crazy high winds last night. Uh, they're calming down now. Um, Frank and I are probably going to glass from a distance, see if we can find this Billy. And, uh, show Lane the photos when he gets here and then he can make a decision from there but uh, things are looking good although the bad weather has come in it looks like it's going to snow which always adds a bit of adventure to anything it got pretty windy last night everything went well in the tent so again I'm running the solo I think I, I think I said on the last video that Aaron had the onion too but he's actually got the Nalo somewhat similar but a little bit different <clears throat> it was crazy windy so we're here at camp we actually that goat is still up there um, on the mountain right above camp so we're waiting for Lane he's a couple hours out he's hiking in this morning he had work last night so um, the goats are super approachable just wrap around this mountain pop over the top on him hopefully but we've just been glassing here from camp Aaron's got the spotter out yeah, we're trying to do some redneck GoPro videoing. It does not look like it's going to work. 
No. But the goat is right about there. Lane's on his way in. I think he'll be here in about two and a half hours. This goat looks to be four or five years old. And I would guess he's nine and three eighths in length. Five and a half, five and five eighths bases. Decent goat, especially for Colorado. So what do you got going on down here? Frank's garbage blew away. My garbage went down this chasm here. Hashtag conservation. <laughs> Too fucking fat. <laughs> oh. Well, if you die down there, at least it would be in a beautiful area. I don't know about this being beautiful. You might die, uh, you might get eaten alive by chipmunks. Oh, should I drop it again? No, I'm just kidding. If you were Luke, Luke Cadillo, and you got stuck, you fell in there, you might not be coming out. <laughs> uh, man, however I slept, I got like door stops on my neck over to the right. Can't really, something's going on. I like Peyton Manning. That's it. I can't throw football. I should have taken a video last night. It was windy. Super windy. It was super windy. All right, well, Lane should be here any minute now, so hopefully he gets here and we kill something. Signing off. Well, we're still waiting on Lane. <clears throat> I'm assuming the cameraman may have had a hard time with the hike in. Frank, what do you think? Squirrels keep eating all my goddamn food. Squirrels are just hounding us. Little family of them. But the goat is still uh, right up there. <laughs> Top of that. Let's see, right there, top of that peak. He's probably 20 yards off the top. Sorry about the hand. I don't know if we can film this. Oh yeah, where we can. There's a little goat. Whoa. What did you name him? I named him Billy Idol. <laughs> there he is. So hopefully Lane gets here pretty soon. I'm assuming Frank and I may stay down, sneak up um, the bottom a little bit where we can get photographs if Lane comes up over the top and then have the cameraman obviously with Lane, but I'm not sure it'll be up to Lane what he wants to do. So we'll see. We're getting close, hopefully. For what I've seen in there, yeah. that's a pretty nice goat. Oh yeah, no, he's not bad at all. Especially if it's mule deer, what do we add? 15 inches getting it on film? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Brian used to call it. I would say, like, if it's an elk dude and it's good, that's like 60, 70 inches. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I'll be interested. It got bigger for me when we got closer. Usually it's the other way around. It looked better when we were up there. I was telling Frank if I knew it was going to end up like this, I would have packed into one to four hundred and less food. Yeah. That that one to four is pretty nice. Yeah, I that 70 to 2 the only t it's good for weddings. <laughs> oh. It's good filming light. Yeah. It is good for weddings. I did do my buddy's wedding. Nice. That squirrel should be fat by the time we leave. We've been feeding him gluten-free crackers, so maybe we don't have any unhealthy ones. Non-GMO, organic. Well, fuck if you gave him a GMO one. That squirrel would probably be like, hey, does this guy gluten in it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up here. <laughs> Hippie squirrels. Like, hey guys, like, oh, he might. But everybody else that comes up here, he's gluten-free. Did you guys see that big bull moose in the bottom yesterday? No. There's a giant bull hanging in the bottom of this drainage. 
Jesus. Oh, he's out again. He dead, dead asleep. That's good. <laughs> Who do we got above? The Brian had never been on a goat hunt. We got above that one of his. Brian looks back. What's wrong with him? It was hot. You know how they labor breathing? And his chest was just... <laughs> Brian's like, is he okay? I'm like, he's fucking hot, dude. It's like, you run around with a cape on you. It's like he's panting. Yeah, that, where we, where we were on that goat hunt was where they shot the world record stone in the 50s. Oh, shit. It's like 30 miles. Well, it's, you know, you plane flight in and then, like, I don't know how far we were on horseback farther than I wanted to ride one. I didn't realize what those horses could do. Good God Almighty. Bart was taking him up shit like this. He's like, lean forward, grab the mane. I'm like, how about I hop off and walk? <laughs> That's me. 90% of the time. Oh, fuck. He kept trying to knock me off. That horse knew I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. He kept running into trees and shit. Yeah, she shows horses, like stupid expensive horses and stuff. So she'd grown up around them her whole life. Her dad hunts with them all the time. No pain in the ass. Fucking, dude. I'll get off and hike. Yeah. yeah. I hate horses. I'll get off and hike. They'll be doing shit. And it's like, nope. I'm gonna... We grew up with horses, and I was up in Wyoming last year with my buddy Chris, and we packed in deep, and it's like, this one gets a little skittish around the bears. He puts his ears back. You hold on. Yeah. And I wasn't paying attention. I had my recurve in my, this hand, full pack. The horse throws me forward. Oh, shit. I do a full, like, planted front flip off this horse. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, nice landing, man. I, I didn't know that same thing, grizzlies and blood. Yeah. They get, oh, they get spooky. twitchy. And, of course, yeah. we, when we killed mine, when we came, we, there's grizzly tracks everywhere going up this valley. And then we killed Brian's. So they're already twitchy from the smell of blood of his sitting on it. And then there's grizzly tracks everywhere. And a porcupine came out. And that my horse saw that porcupine and took off. And Bart, I could hear him laughing because he could, I'm sure, hear my teeth cracking together from it taking off. I was like, I wonder if I eject if I'll actually make it, you know, or whatever. And finally, I was pulling on both sides of the reins, and I learned that I guess you just reef on one is much better. Or, or I was, maybe I was pulling on one and not both. Either way, he didn't want to stop. He finally calmed down. It just hurt my knees from oh, running. That saddle sword on. Yeah, it is bad. Yeah, I never, I hadn't rid that deep since I was younger on my parents' horses, and man, it fucks your hips up. Yeah. What's that dealy thing do on the side? This? Yeah. This grabs your focus, so then you're just, uh, you're trying um, to focus with this instead of with the, instead of with this, instead of reaching up in front, but. Fucking pain in the ass. Dude, I'm pretty sure we'd break that shit pretty quick. <laughs> we broke the fucking mic off that. ZX thingy we got in like a day. <laughs> I had to zip tie all that shit back together. That fucking goat must be tired. He's cranking it. <laughs> Trail just go up right here. Yeah, cut way to the right and we'll go up over there.
GoPro's wide angle. He's up on the cliff there and uh, stocked in right above it. So he gave us the hold off sign for a second. Um, we're gonna work our way over there in a minute, but looks like we gotta go down. It's time for snacks. <laughs> He took that last year like a man. <laughs> yep, that's gonna be pretty cool. Time lapse. I don't know if it's easier, it's definitely faster. You see those kung fu moves? Sir, that is not the way. Good. This is golden.
dude. I should get a photo of that. Yeah. Right there. Go back a little bit, would you? I'm ready. I can hear them. Now they're coming. Is it supposed to rain tomorrow too? Look clear after stuff when I bought the house. What do you think, Gabe? Yeah, it's good. That's always good when you do it on the first day. And then John packed all your meat out last night, so that was even better. Uh, and John had to work today, so he packed out and he was getting ready to leave. He said, Hey, do you want me to take your meat? Uh yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> he hiked it out it. and he put it in the cooler and yeah now I'm just packing out the cape other than that we're packing out what we brought in so yeah and almost all the food that we brought in <laughs> yeah although I ate, I ate extra yesterday to cut down on the pack weight but yeah we're only a couple miles in so it's not horrible and uh super pretty scenery I, I, I'd be interested to see the video I bet it comes out great I don't think that you could have videoed a better stock either uh in those cliffs I tell you what, where it was at, it was perfect. I just, well, it took us two hours from the time we got here to sneak up, get around it, and just get up on him. And he was bedded right there and really had no idea we were there. And so John and I got to sit there for a little bit and actually watch him. Like, yeah, I think this is, uh, I think this is the one. And, yeah. yeah. Well, you guys had a bad wind, so you had to circle way farther back. And Frank and I got bored, so we got, we started at 170 then 120 and then we finished out at 108 yards from the goat when you came down on top of it so it ended up getting a lot better photos i think i got one arrow going through it um so yeah i got good photos and good video yeah good all the way around i did i can't like i said i can't thank you guys enough for coming out on sunday and shoot this is my fourth goat hunt that's by far the easiest <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> which for backpacking yeah, so, in that's something to be said about that yeah no kidding yeah, yeah okay. we, we packed in, and I thought we were going to have to defend ourselves from hikers. I don't know how many we saw coming in, but luckily they only go down to that lower spot. We only saw a couple, you know, past where we're at right now, basically, which is nice. So, And then the weather yesterday seemed to deter everyone. Pretty much rained. Actually, from the moment we got to the goat, it rained pretty much from there on, which uh, wasn't horrible. I mean, it didn't snow. It wasn't as cold as I thought it was going to be, so that was good. Yeah. Frank, what do you think, man? I had a good time, man. Thanks for inviting <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Doesn't get much better than that. So, heck yeah. Have you done any go outs? No. First of all, mm -hmm. it's all uphill from here. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not to get your hopes set up or anything, but it's all uphill from here. Yeah. yeah. No. Well, it'll be good pack out. It'll probably only take us half hour, hour to get out. We don't have that much weight, so that's good. Let's see if anybody, you said somebody drew on my truck window some anti hunting thing or what they put? You think you're special, aren't you? Or, or aren't you special? Yeah. So. We got some funny looks on the way in when we had the squatters out glassing for, for goats. So somebody had some hatred. Hopefully my tires aren't popped. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, let's load so, her up and head out. Time to get pizza. Let's get <laughs> time to get pizza. And yeah. peanut butter bars and kombucha. <laughs> yeah. uh, Woo. Ready break. No, I'm just kidding. You're on the way out, packing out. Lynn's got the only really heavy load. John packed out the meat yesterday for us like a gentleman. <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, this is great. It's been a fun trip, a short one, but fun. <laughs> <laughs>